Assalamu alaikum Muslim, uh, Muslim space families. Um, welcome to our last week of Ramadan. I can't believe it's flown by, but we are on project number four. So this week we're going to have a really simple project. Um, I made mine pretty simple, but I'm going to show you how to embellish it and make it a little bit more fancy if that's what you want. Now, the it's going to be a box that you can then use to like put stuff in if you wanted to give it as an Eid gift, or it's just to show you how anything can be turned into a, a masjid or into um, a decorative item for your home. Or like I said, you can put something in this and give it to somebody. So this is one example. Um, this one, I added uh, a minaret and I'm going to show you how we did this. So in your kit, um, you're going to be week four kit. Got this one. So there's just a few small items in here. And as far as materials you'll need today, um, you'll probably need some tape, maybe some scissors. And then beyond that, it's going to be anything you want to decorate. So in your box, in your bag, you're going to find one little box. Looks like this. It's all folded up. There's going to be a toothpick don't forget the toothpick it actually is quite small so you might it might get lost uh, it's a little i think it's a little wooden toothpick um a star, moon and star and there's one tape roll of tape now this is a different kind of tape it's called washi tape and if you haven't worked with it before it's not as sticky as regular tape but it's used to like decorate things so here you can see on mine i use my washi tape to make a little door and to make a minaret so we're going to start by just taking out some of the washi tape now so the way i did mine is i wanted the design to be on the front of the box if you want to do the same thing you want to make sure and put your first part of your decorations on this so you see i would take this part that's in the back lay it down that's going to be your bottom and then this is the part we're going to work on right here so I'm going to make a door. This one I'm going to make a little bit different than the last one. Uh, this is the example. So on this one, I had I made a little door and I put it on the side. Now, I could just take one piece of tape. I could do two pieces of tape. You first have to find the end of it. There it is. Um, but in order to make it a little more interesting, I thought, well, what if instead of making it flat across the top, we made a little curve? So I'm going to start by just sticking it down onto a random surface. You can wear, use your table or whatever. You'll need to, uh, scissors and tape if you don't have that. So just cut a random length. It doesn't really matter. And then I'm going to make a second one. But to make it a little, so I have, everybody has different washi tape. Um, there's probably like eight different kinds in the package. So you'll got, you got a random one. This one is a stripes. So wouldn't it be interesting if I made my door have a pattern? Let's see if I did this one. I guess it actually doesn't work. I tried to thought if I flipped it upside down, it would, the stripes would turn the other way. That's going to be a little more complicated. We won't worry about that. So I'm going to put two next to each other and I'll explain why in a little bit. I want to line them up really nicely. So I want don't want the top of my door to be just flat. I want it to have a little shape to it. So I'm going to use this exact same rule. And you see how there's a circle inside? So I'm going to use that to make a shape. So I'll grab a pen. Now, I will warn you that if you have a dark color um, tape like this one, so th the sample one I used has a very light colored tape. So this one's darker, so I'm going to probably have to go a little bit darker to see the line. Um, but I'm going to use this as a circle, lay it down, and then trace the inside of it. So that'll give me a curve. I just went over it a bunch of times. So now I can see that I have a curve. So then I'm going to pick it up and cut that line that I just made. So that's one side of my curve. And I'll go ahead and stick it down onto my box. Like I said, this one, I'm going to put the door in the middle. So I'm going to put it right there. Now, it doesn't matter if you have tape at the bottom. Um, later on, the only time it'll matter is that we have to have access to these cuts, but you can always worry about that later. So I want it to be about that big. Now I'll do the same thing on the other one. So you see how I just, I cut that shape out of the top and then I just stuck it down. 
Now here's the second piece. Again, I had to draw pretty dark to see my line, but I'm going to cut this as well. And I'm going to line these up perfectly on my box right next to each other. You don't have to. You can just put them down square if you'd like. Let's see how that looks. So now I have a little rounded door. Now it's just funny that it happens to be striped, so you can't see this little part because there's a black line right there. That's okay. Not a big deal. All right. So I see how I have all this excess at the bottom. I'm going to need to access, um, I need to be able to get to this, these two little cuts. So I'll go ahead and just take my scissors and make a little cut where the cut already was in the box, but cut it into tape. Does that make sense? So you want to be able to fold something into this little flap that was already here. Okay. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and make the box. So to make it, you just kind of hold it in your hand like this and squeeze. See how it makes a box? Then at the bottom, we're going to take the two sides that are the, the ones, the little notches in them. Do you see how it little, has these little two little cutouts? Almost looks like ears in the box. Fold those down first on the line that's already there. It's called scored. That line's already been scored. So see how I stuck those in? Then you're going to fold down the other ones and you take these two. See how it has like little ears? You want to stick it into those holes that we have. It goes in pretty easily. So now I have a box. So I have a box with a little door on the front. In this case, I'm going to do this one a little bit differently. And you know how um, some massages have like a pattern across the outside of it? So that's what I'm going to do in this case. I'm going to go ahead and close this up. So I made the box, cute little box. And I'm going to take my tape. And this time I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to go around the box right here let's see i think i want it to be kind of close to the top but not maybe at the very top so i'll lay it down so it also sort of looks like a gala you might have done a craft with this in space before where you made a gala. but i'm just going to go all around the four sides of this box and cover up back where I started. And then I'll cut it right there. It's okay if you have a little overlap and it's okay if you don't. But see, now I have a little decorative box. Now you can keep adding as much as you like. If you have a second kit, you're free to like, you know, let's say you have your sibling got one, then you can obviously you know, share tape. That doesn't affect it because you can still opening it at the top. Now it's the question of what's the other piece you got in the box. So you also in the bag have this, remember the toothpick and your moon. So we're going to use this to add a decoration to the top. So you can just, um, you can line it up like this where the moon sits straight up and down, or you can put it at an angle. I like the moon to be kind of uh, tilted like that on the top of the masjid. So just take that toothpick, lay it down wherever you want. This is where your tape comes in. And you'll take a piece of tape and tape it to the back. Tape the toothpick onto the back of the moon um, cutout. This is also how they do cupcake decorations. So these same items can be sold as cupcake decorations. And I'll just cut the bottom of that tape off. Now note the end of the, the toothpick is a little bit pokey. So don't hurt yourself, but also keep that in mind. That's the side you want to be facing down. And the reason why it will be obvious in just a second. So in this case, I want this to be on the top of my box. So I'm just gonna find what I think is the center and I'm gonna gently push that pointy side in. I might have to play with it a little bit. If you aren't able to do it, ask a parent to help you or an older sibling. There you go. Okay, so I was able to push that in. Now, when I close the box, now I have a crescent sitting on top of my box. Now, there's lots of different things you can do. If you like it like this, fantastic. You can be done. You can also decide to put a door on the other sides of your box. I think that would look nice. 
You can put more stripes. You can actually cover the whole surface if you'd like. You can put them up and down, whatever you'd like to do. This is your project. And so it's always very individual. Let me show you the other one that I made. What I used here is I wanted to have a minaret. So I just had some random paper. It doesn't really matter what color. I had some extra white, so I got that out. And this is just plain white cardstock. It's a little bit thicker than paper. If you have any of those plates left over from our craft a couple weeks ago, you can always cut one of those up if you have an extra or just any kind of paper. Like I said, the color doesn't matter. And then what I did is I just took some more of my tape. Like in this case, I would just grab this. I didn't even cut this um, using a ruler, so that's very unusual for me. So it's a little bit off, but I'm just gonna go ahead and take some of my same tape and cover the entire thing. Now you can go back and cut it. Uh, mine is not cut very well, but that's okay. So there's, now I've got this. I might even just cut off the, the white parts on the sides because I just needed the, the paper to make it a little bit thicker. Now, the reason I suggested you putting it on the front um, is so that like one way you could do this is, let me finish real quick. Now you can shape this any way you'd like. Like maybe I'll just make a little, I'll make a triangular top. So I'm just do two extra little point, extra little cuts. This is one of little pokey top. And then you could take this and you could just slide it into that opening that you made. Now you have a little minaret. If you don't like that, you could also tape it to the front. That's what I did in this case. But it's really just a matter of your designing anything you'd like with some normal household materials. Now, wouldn't this be a nice gift to give somebody? If you are giving it to someone, just have them be careful because again, like I said, this the end of the, the toothpick is pokey, but you can always cover it with something if you'd like. You could fill this box with candy. That would be a lovely gift to give to somebody on Eid Day, which is coming up very soon. I hope you had a wonderful Ramadan and we look forward to doing crafts with you next year. Salam alaikum.